That's how it started. But by the end of the night, 19 UBC students had been arrested, all because of a grassy knoll. We've been having this protest for about six months now uh, around an underground bus stop that they're going to construct. Many students aren't happy with the development plans here, and yesterday they staged a protest, Knoll Aid. It started off peacefully. There were bands playing on the hill, but then somebody lit a bonfire. The fire grew, and so did the crowds. And when fire crews showed up to try to douse the flames, the students uh, refused to let them hose it down and uh, they put their foot down on the hose to block the water and that's when things started to escalate. One protester was arrested and the others linked arms and sat around the squad car to keep police from taking him away. The uh, individuals were warned uh, and told by police to move away uh, numerous times and, uh, and failed to do so. 19 students were handcuffed, put in paddy wagons, and taken to jail. Shame! Shame! He can't do anything! They're facing yet. charges from obstruction of justice to resisting arrest and assaulting a police officer. This afternoon, supporters gathered at the Main Street Jail to wait for their release. There's still this idea that the RCMP aren't really cognizant of uh, how students behave on a university, and uh, that's only going to get worse in the months ahead, I think. Because the development is just starting at the Knoll. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.